All right, I'm Dave Ratt, and today I'm going to talk about line arrays versus point source systems and why line arrays have become so popular and what problems they have and have not solved and what they've done that is absolutely unique to their design. So let's take a look at this stuff. What I've got is a bunch of these speakers here that I made. They're little three inch speakers. They're nothing special. They're just utilitarian, utilitarian testing devices for me to demonstrate and test various sound concepts. I got a little eight channel amp here. I'm using a couple channels. I've got two speakers that can go on each channel if I need a little pink noise generator. We're actually using white noise for this so we can hear the high frequency interactions. So the first thing we'll do is we'll start off with a point source system and we will plug in a single speaker here. Um, I highly recommend you use uh, headphones while listening to this because I'm gonna use headphones and you can hear what I'm hearing. So, I've got a microphone here, and you can point it to the point source system, and it will go side to side. You should be able to hear it kind of fade off a little bit. I'm going to knock down it on it, I'm going to be changing the speaker. So a point source system um, has its coverage, whatever it is. These aren't uh, very wide, but whatever the coverage is. And there is no horizontal or vertical, for the most part, if you have a single speaker, um, issues that uh, interaction between the speakers. But typically or often, a uh, single speaker is not enough to cover a venue, we, or we need more control over the horizontal or vertical dispersion. So we start adding additional speakers to the mix here. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll plug in a second speaker. Now with two speakers. system, those um, interactive issues can be reduced but not eliminated. Um, we can go bigger and we can add in another couple speakers here. source or a splayed system we might make these trapezoidal we might have perfect horns that get in there and get this stuff all dialed in but no matter what we do when we're standing there listening to this those um, uh, center points the alignments between now let's go ahead and take this Creating a line array, a 
well-designed horizontal splayed system or a well-designed multi-source point, multi-speaker uh, point source system will have multiple interactions between boxes in the horizontal domain, whereas a line array, a well-designed line array, has piled all of those up into the vertical domain. And the reason that's so interesting is we have ears on the side of our heads, and as humans, we are extremely perceptive in differentials of time arrival in the horizontal domain. And not only that, we're constantly moving our head. We have a 180 degree um, motion from left to right. And with the ear on each side, we almost have a 360 degree horizontal uh, listening range or um, domain. In the vertical, we have a much uh, more limited ability to hear vertical and altitude um, uh, differentials. And with the sides on there, we are basically relying on the shape of our ears rather than the two differential in the points. So since we're very, very acute horizontally and somewhat diminished vertically, by taking all of these unavoidable issues of having multiple speakers and piling them all up in the vertical domain, where we as humans are less able to hear them, and creating a horizontal domain a horizontal field that um, is almost free of any of those aberrations. We haven't made the problems go away. We've just made them much less audible to us as human beings. And hence, this is a, an advantage that is human. And you can measure a point source system with all the measurement equipment. You can measure a line array with the, all this measurement equipment. And you can get similar or better or worse results. But unless you take into account the human factor of what we hear, how we perceive it, how our heads move during a show, are you running up and down the stairs? Are you doing jack, uh, jumping jacks and burpees? Well, then the horizontal um, or the vertical uh, issues may come into play. But if you're staying reasonably at the same altitude, but you're moving your head side to side, the horizontal issues are going to be more of a concern for us. So I just thought, was, thought that is an interesting perspective on line arrays versus point source arrays with all other things being equal. There is a, definitely a human factor to take into account. All right, hope that's interesting and I'll be back with more videos soon.